morning, class. Russell Wilson can be with us today. Instead, today is Winston Churchill. Let me get my light right here. Now, Winston, I want you to look for this speech. But he was a big cigar smoker, right? And he called Germans Huns, kind of like Hungarian. It used to be German and Hungary kind of were a combined empire. And so he famously one time said, fun fact, impression by Tygen, we will fight them on the beaches. We will fight them on the seas. We will fight them on the land. We will fight them in the air. We will destroy the Hun. Today's chapter nine. Remember, pink, I'm gonna use it in my journal as a quote. I would really like to see some more quoting people. But for all of you that have been hitting me up, texting me your journals, thank you very much. Um, I'm really proud of you. Also, orange is just, you know, personal connection. It helps me make this connect better. Get a lot of geography in this one, guys, but good news, it's all in Switzerland. Remember, one of your squares on your grid um, asks for you to do a geographical map of all of his travels. So North Pole, um, the Alps of Switzerland, Northern Italy, born in Milan, goes to college in Germany. And he's climbed Mont Blanc today in chapter nine. You know, I think it's kind of weird as you, oh, you see my, that's my favorite corner of my soffit that I built. This is my basement. This, this basement was just four concrete walls about 10 years ago. So it took me several years, but I did it. And I love that corner right there. I was really proud of that one. That looks really neat. The more I watch of that old movie, the more I start thinking, oh my gosh, not going to a barber? I'm starting to look like Victor Frankenstein's hair in the movie. Check it out, 1931 horror film classic Frankenstein. And Victor Frankenstein's hair looks just like that. Weird coincidence, huh? Okay, chapter nine. Remorse. He feels horrible and he can't tell anyone. He'll look like a crazy person. And they probably wouldn't believe him anyway. It's 1818. So page 74, 75, dad's going, man, you need to move on. None of these people, Justine nor William would want you being all depressed all the time. And you have kind of anxiety anyway, so you need to snap out of it. They would want you to live a good life and still be a good person, you know, move on. But he feels so guilty. He even starts thinking about suicide. And something I always thought I would say if someone asked is, after he says I was tempted to plunge into the silent lake that the waters might close over me and my calamities forever. Like drowning, you're going to pick that one? I don't know if I'd be picking that one. It's one of my big fears. But then he says, man, if I leave them behind, how is that going to, how's that going to help anybody? And then I won't be here to protect them if the demon comes back. Page 76, 77. Now he really starts thinking, ooh, I might want to start hunting him because he probably is going to be coming back. And alas, Elizabeth says to Victor, alas, Victor, when falsehood can look like the truth, who can assure themselves of certain happiness? 
when falsehoods can look like the truth. Doesn't that sound like modern politics? There's lots of falsehoods that some people are saying are the truth. Page 7879, he just goes on a nature hike for days to try to forget his worries and get out of his funk. He's just in a massive mental funk. Not good for people with anxiety. This guy needs to snap out of it. This is Winston Churchill. Good afternoon, class.